Good morning, and welcome to this time of worship here at the Gilead Church. We also welcome everyone who is joining us on Facebook this morning. Just a reminder for all those joining us here that not singing and joining in the prayers is odd and challenging. It is the way we care for one another in these days. I also want to share as the cases of COVID-19 are increasing across our state, our deacons are keeping an eye on the numbers here in Hebron and will be in contact weekly to make decisions about how we will continue with our worship. We will always continue our live streaming, but please watch our weekly e-newsletter and other communications coming from our church. Also feel free to contact or call our church office for updates. We want to thank everyone who came out for our church's fall work day yesterday. We had a great response and a lot was accomplished. Thanks to everyone. Also thanks to our fellowship committee for their puzzle swap yesterday as well. We also just want to uh, share a reminder for everyone who took an angel tag that the gifts are due back by next Sunday. And you can bring them here with you and place them in front of the angel tag board or drop them off at the parish house porch anytime at your convenience. Just a reminder, all gifts need to be in gift bags due to DCF security. Don't forget that Amy is also offering pies for the upcoming holiday season in support of Hello and Orphanage in Haiti. She's here this morning if you'd like to speak with her. And there's information in our e-newsletter about how you can contact her to place an order. This year, also in lieu of Christmas flowers, which our greenhouse did not grow this year, we're offering luminaries that you can give in honor or memory of a loved one. There are forms in the front of our sanctuary this morning. They're also in our weekly e-newsletter. The luminaries will be used for our Christmas Eve services. You're welcome to pick them up after the service, or if you'd like to donate them, our deacons will also be delivering them if that would be helpful to you. This morning, our Board of Christian Education is also offering a time for young people um, to make a Thanksgiving craft and to hear a story about God's blessings. And you're invited, will be invited to leave following our children's message this morning. Our stewardship committee also wants to be sure you know about two new electronic giving options. One is a link on our church's Facebook page, a donate button. And another is a donate button, which is available on our Facebook page. So we invite you all who are joining us on Facebook and everyone here, we invite you to make an offering this day to support the ministry and missions of this community of faith. We also invite you to share any prayer requests that you might have on Facebook this morning, and they'll be passed on to me for our sharing of joys and concerns. And this morning is the third week in our stewardship season. And Mark Bierbaum, who is with us from our stewardship committee, has a few reflections to share. Mark. Hi, Mark Bierbaum. On behalf of the stewardship committee, we want to thank everyone who's already returned their 2021 Planting Seeds of Hope pledge card. Just as a note, there are some extra pledge cards up here at the front of the church, too, if you need one. Um, if you haven't yet, we ask that you return it to the church as soon as you can. You can return it by mail. You can return it by dropping it off in the bucket on the door of our parish house at any time. Or you can bring it in on a Sunday and place it in the offering plate in front of the sanctuary. You'll also have the opportunity to give it to one of our stewardship committee members this afternoon. We'll be driving around to plant Seeds of Hope signs in the lawns of uh, members and friends. If you see us, feel free to give us your pledge card. We'd also love, if you're willing, to be able to take a picture of you by the sign, at a distance, of course. If we miss you, miss you we invite you to email a photo uh, uh, to the church office the next day or two. So if you see a sign in your front yard and you didn't see us, go out, take a picture, send it to the church. It's our hope that these signs will be a tangible reminder that our faith brings us hope even in challenging and uncertain days, and that we're a community of faith that continues to plant seeds of hope. 
And this morning, we have some more stories of hope to share with you via video. What has given me hope and continues to give me hope is our mission work here at the Gilead Congregational Church. We combine our amazing gifts and talents in an effort to be a message of God's love and hope. And to me, mission work is simply that. It's planting seeds. And when you plant seeds, you never know how they will grow and later blossom, but they certainly do. If you listen, you will notice you sing everywhere. Board of Mission seeks to be love and hope in action and has focused on three key areas in order to be hopefully impactful in the work that we do. The first one is that they seek to support those in our community who may be struggling with self-sufficiency. There's been many um, mission efforts that have come out of that, but one is our hunger action team. We help to organize that with the towns of Andover, Columbia, Hebron, and Marlboro. And we sit down together with town officials, schools, food banks, uh, social service agencies, and other faith communities to discuss what local people may need. We also support Church World Service and all of their efforts to feed people locally and globally. And of course, we are strong partners with our food banks. The second area that the Board of Mission focuses on is children. Many years ago, after the events of Sandy Hook Elementary School, that was a tragedy, the Board of Missions began what is known as our Community Mental Health Fund that has supported children and families so that if they need mental health care, they don't have to go without because they don't have the financial means. Another thing that's come out of that effort to support children is we have given over $35,000 through our much-loved community event called Hebron's Got Talent to local children's scholarships. And those scholarships help all of our children to pursue their gifts and their talents and their passions that God has given them. And who knows how they will use those to go and be a message of God's love and hope. that the Board of Missions focuses on is Gilead Helping Hands. And that's our effort to combine volunteers to support in a hands-on way, being the hands and feet of God to those who may be in need. We've done everything from yard cleanups to painting to much needed home repairs. of the seeds that we have sown together. There are too many to mention, but I have had the incredible joy and blessing and privilege to bear witness to how these seeds have changed people's lives in incredible and meaningful ways. And not only have they changed the lives of those that we have served, but they've changed ours as well, and I know they've changed mine.
to worship. Come, share in the joy of the Lord. Praise God who gives each person special talents to be nurtured and shared. Come, let us worship God who entrusts us with so much. Our opening hymn is God of grace and God of glory. Yeah. 
our unison prayer of thanksgiving and our Lord's Prayer. Gracious and generous God, you are always with us, offering guidance, healing, and hope. Continue to guide and challenge our lives in this time of worship. Lead us, we pray, in pathways of service and away from trails of fear and anxiety. Open our hearts to receive your healing and transforming love that we might serve you more faithfully. We ask these things in the name of Jesus Christ, the one who taught us to make this prayer our own. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. This morning, we welcome Jessica Peltier, who will be sharing our children's message. Good morning. It is so good to be here with you all today. Do you know what month it is? November. Thank you, Pastor Denise. November. I even practiced this with my kids on the way here today. That's right, November. And what happens in November, Pastor Denise? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, exactly. And then what's the most important part about Thanksgiving? Hunter. Oh my gosh, why do I say Hunter? I am so sorry. (laughs) Giving, yes. So it's right in the name. So it's thanks and it's giving. Thank you. Uh, It's about, it's not only about being thankful for turkeys and gatherings, but for lots of other things too. The Bible talks a lot about why it's important to be thankful. God wants us to live with joy, be thankful for what we already have, and remember all the many wonderful blessings in our lives. When someone gives us something or does something to help us, it's important to say thank you. We may call to say thank you, we may write a letter to say thank you, but did you know it's just as important to say thank you to God? This, excuse me, this morning I wanted to share with you a little rhyme that I just found recently. But first, I wanna know if you know what this is. Yeah, oh, there we go, there's the participation. (laughs) That's right, this is a donut. So I brought it because my rhyme is about a donut. It goes like this. As you go through life, make this your goal. Look at the donut and not the hole. I'll say that again, sorry. As you go through life, make this your goal. Look at the donut, not the hole. Sounds kind of funny, right? Well, as you go through life, it makes, make this your goal, okay? Let me explain what this means. Because I think most of you would be pretty happy if I gave you a donut. They are delicious and very yummy. But what if we didn't focus on the delicious round circle and just on the empty hole that we saw? How would that make us feel? Maybe like we were missing out on something, sad or empty? If we only focused on the hole, you'd be drawing your attention to what isn't there rather than what is. Sadly, some people go through life noticing that they are missing only what they are missing and they never really notice or appreciate the good things they have. Our little rhyme, sorry, I'm looking at Danielle. (laughs) Our little rhyme about looking at the donut and not the hole can remind us to see many good things we have in our lives. Sorry. Giving thanks for all our blessings is important, not to do only on Thanksgiving, but every day. And we need to thank God every day for this wonderful life. Psalm 136, verse 1 says, Give thanks to the Lord, for this steadfast love endures forever. As we go on with our day, I encourage you to think about all the many ways in which you are blessed and thankful. Let us end with a prayer. Dear God, thank you for this day together. Thank you for the flowers, the trees, the sun, everything you've created. Thank you for this church, the music in our hearts. Thank you for our families, friends, and neighbors. Thank you for the many blessings in our lives. But most importantly, your love and son, Jesus Christ. Amen. And thank you for the tears. Amen.